Uh, I've made it to Warrnambool and uh, yep, still windy and it's starting to rain. <laughs> Typical. You know, just behind me is a water tower it's here at Warrnambool with the um, arts happening. So I'll just spin around and give you a look at that before I get too wet. <laughs> Out there's one side. Turn off and I'll spin around the other side. Out there's old Anna there. I don't know what the story behind it all is, but anyway, there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, another town, another bakery, eh? Just out of Waterwall. It's called the Freckled Duck. <laughs> anyway, how good's that? How's your pasty? It is the best one I've ever had. Oh, except for dies. Oh, puff and dice. Trying for mates and dough. <laughs> yeah, and I just had a pulled pork pie. And I tell you, that, that was bloody all right. And of course, we had to get a couple of cakes as well. What did you get? You got the old scroll, didn't you? The coffee scroll type mm -hmm. thing or something, really? Yeah, and I've gone some bloody, I don't know, donut thing with custard and caramel cream on top. So, yeah, like we need a day. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right, that's lunch done. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's let that settle and make it more, eh? <laughs> Righto, I'm out of here. Um, Great Ocean Road. About to hit that in a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Great Ocean Oh no, the Great Ocean Road. This is one of those, uh, probably one of the most iconic bits of coastline in Australia, just would have to say. I think we'd be about 20 years ago and it was cold and wet and rainy then, wasn't it? Yeah, it and, was. and it's still cold and wet and rainy. Yeah. You, you can see in the background we're going to get hammered here shortly. So I'll just give you a quick spin around here. All right. Show you the coastline here. Because uh, I'm not going to hang around too long. <laughs> but oh yeah, check it out, eh? Wow. It's pretty wild out here with this wind, so the ocean's really stirred up at the moment. I don't know if you can hear me too well, but you can probably see in the background over there that rain is going to hit us in a minute. And like I said, we're not going to sit around here too long. Because we're going to get bloody drenched in a minute. <laughs> Alright, all right. let's keep moving. Uh, I can't even <laughs> oh, see yeah. that. Well anyway, that was, that was the uh, Bay of Isles. <laughs> at the start of the Great Ocean Road. We had to make that a bit of a quick quick look because it's just absolutely starting to piss. <laughs> yep. And I tell you, is, is that windy? I'm trying to think of a saying here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, know, I think it's something like I'm too cold here. Yeah, but I know we had to make a quick quick rush back to the car because it's not, not nice I out there, right? Eh? See. <laughs> All right then, well, we'll push on, but uh, we're going to you're going to crop a lot of uh, photos from there for for a bit with uh, along here with the sites and that. So um, hope you enjoy them. So <laughs> we'll all right, let's get moving, and I'm sure there'll be some more up here, and uh, hopefully this wind might drop off a little bit at least for wind and rain. So anyway, hope it gets better. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Wow, this is the uh, what they call the grotto. As I said, it's pretty wild, wild weather at the moment. At least it stopped raining this time with that last one. I think it's got absolutely hammered. So, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, check that out, eh? I'll go for one little sort of staircase just here. I'll go for one down that in a sec. Now it looks down the bottom. Wow. Uh, Oh, this is the uh, the archway at the grotto there, looking down through the all that rough weather out there. Sorry, mate. No, it's all this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got we've got the uh, other tourists here. Want to get on the action? <laughs> yeah, let's hit uh, the grotto. Well, this is uh, London Bridge here. I'll swing around a sec. I'll tell you, it's still windy. I tell you, it's enough to blow the freckles off your face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it's something. I'll, I'll try to get some new material. Alright, I'll swing you around and just give you a bit of a look. 
Yeah, I've got our tail on my hat, yeah, it's gonna go. Alright. I don't know if you can see that chopper up in the background up there, it should be pretty windy and rough up there, I'd reckon. Okay, this is the uh, Princeton Recreational Reserve. Uh, it's about Oh, six, seven k's east of the Twelve Apostles on the uh, Gellibrand River. There you go. Um, it's got uh, most things you need here. It's got um, toilets, showers, bins. You can have fires here, dogs. Uh, 20 bucks a night for two people unpowered or 25 for two people powered. So, yeah, not pretty good value because they're way cheaper than um, the caravan parks that are along, along the Gradation Road here. So, there's uh, plenty of wildlife here, kangaroos, birds. Sort of that sort of stuff, and uh, like I said, it's just just the east of the Great Apostle, so it's a good spot to spend a couple of nights, like we did, and um, then you can have the whole day go and check out the uh, obviously the Twelve Apostles, and there's quite other bit of stuff along the coastline here to um, have a look at in this in this area. So well worth it. So that's what we've done for a couple of days, and uh, yeah, check out the photos and that from here, this area. I don't know. You got to really compare this with uh, say Thunder Cliffs and stuff like that, and it's. Just right up there is as good if not well better maybe yeah. a lot more of it to look at a lot of walking to do on all these lookouts i tell you i'm getting you know bulking up shortly all the legs are anyway <laughs> yeah but it's walking off all our yeah all those cakes and pies <laughs> all the cakes and pies in the bakehouse yeah, you're not wrong there but then we're going into town today so they've got yeah. a bakery that we've heard it's good <laughs> all right no doubt okay we'll put it all back on then so it's a waste of time <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, makes you feel good well, yeah, I'm, I reckon I feel so funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll spin this around and uh, we'll have a look and check this out. I hope there's some way I can make it all right Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there Oh, check it out. This is where that ship just out here come to grief back in, I don't know, early turn of the century somewhere. Only two people survived and they swam into this beach here. Jeez, imagine if it was like that coming through there. Bloody hell. Hey. <laughs> oh, check out some of them waves coming through there at the moment. Bloody hell. <laughs> So you don't get tired of seeing this coastline, just check it out, I'll just spin you around and have a look. This one's called the Razorback. One you've been waiting for, the 12 apostles. Well, what's left of them anyway? I don't yeah. know how many's left. There's just a few of them. Not many. Come to grief. And, you know, we were about 20 years ago, so it's good to come back and have another look yeah. at them. Well, it was cold and wet and drizzly then, wasn't it? it so, was. And it's still cold and wet and drizzly now. It's funny. I'll tell you what, the wind will blow the bubbles out of your great northern. <laughs> <No? laughs> <laughs> They've got to get better. <laughs> anyway, we'll just spin you around and have you, give you a quick look at them. So, this is uh, the big old corny. Of apostles on the Great Ocean Road. There you go, there you have it. Yeah, it still looks pretty good though, even that's a few missing. Gotta say. Oh, there you go. So we need more steps. All right, we're down. <clears throat> down there. Get down there. 
Wow, eh? Well, oh, keep on moving. Well, that's what's called uh, Gibson's Steps. I'll swing around a sec and show you why, I'll show you the steps. Yeah, anyway, look at that, hey, pretty cool. Now they swing around here, and all those, all those cliffs. Then you got the steps. Get down here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Gibbs and the steps. On the Great Ocean Road. A bit of wild weather on top. <laughs> yeah, just at the bottom of the steps, yeah, you got this nice little waterfall coming straight out of the rocks there. A little spring. Alright, time to sack the steps. Yeah. Well, I don't it's need back up. I oh, know, there's one more. <laughs> Last but not least, I hope, anyway, I'm just about done. This one's uh, Thunder Cave. So I'll spin you around and show you this one. Yeah. There you have it. As the ocean comes rushing in there, down there, and there's the old Thunder Cave. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I think this is about the last look out, so I think we're just about done for the day. I'll just about look, look out, look out, out. Anyway, whatever. I'll just been around and have a look at this last one. <laughs> wow, eh? Check it out, eh? Wow. That's a uh, mutton bird island, I believe. How's that for a bit of spectacular coastline? It was good. Hey, that's the uh, that's a 12 Apostle uh, National Park, I think they call the area, the whole thing. But yeah, pretty amazing, eh? Very good. Yeah, I'm all tucking out though. <laughs> all right. Bakehouse. <laughs> Baker. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> I've been so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. Take you I'll just show you where we're staying while we're just out of Polar Bay here. We're at the place called Bimbi Caravan Park, yeah? Bimbi yeah. Bush Caravan Park, I'll probably more describe it. Yeah. So um, they, they cater for um, pretty much every every sort of accommodation you want. You've got um, unpowered site, I'll just swing you around. That's where we are down there. So you know, nice and, nice and secluded. You've got fire pits all around the place, yeah. Um, down the back over that way they got a big area down there for group booking so if you got um i don't know like school know, camps, camps maybe or something and, like that yeah. and also i'll well, just start walking up anyway school camps yeah school camps so uh, there's a lot of hikers come through here too but looks a lot of bushwalkers and that sort of stuff um you know they also got like uh, little dorms um cabin type stuff uh some quirky little caravans up here we'll just show you on, on the way up here so I'll just spin you around again. Look at that, that's a little little dormitory just there. And up on the hill there, you've got um, a bit more, a bit more upmarket if you want, type accommodation. And then um, <coughs> then uh, out the back, there's another little track out the back over there, you've got some, some more secluded type uh, uh, cabins, wasn't it? Cabins type yeah. stuff. 
Uh, got the usual stuff here, dunnies, laundry, toilets. Uh, did I say dump point? Yep. Yeah, dump point. Uh, camp kitchen. We've also got um, a lot of activities for, uh, the, I don't know if you're in the rock climbing, got a rock climbing thing over there. Got some table tennis tables just there. <laughs> well, that's the camp kitchen there. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you can hear them, we've got chooks over the back there. There's goats. <laughs> um, what else is there? It's probably oh, about putt putt golf. Oh, putt putt golf, yeah. Uh, it's probably about 20 k's out of Polar Bay, I suppose. Yeah. We're just down the road from the old historic. <laughs> would you believe it? Cape Otway Lighthouse. Oh, another, another lighthouse. Another lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's probably one of the cheaper places along the Great Ocean Road, I guess, because um, most of the caravan parks are quite dear along here, but we're still paying 29 bucks a night for unpowered site. And most of the other is, uh, I don't know, up around the 40 plus, isn't it? Yeah. 40 hundred power at upwards. So, um, anyway, there you go. Here's the old chooks. Hey, chook, chook, chook. <laughs> and another thing there's heaps of too, there's heaps of koalas here. So, when we managed to spot those couple last yeah. yesterday, that little little baby and, uh, and it's mum and it's bub, bub, yeah, yeah. So, that was quite, uh, I don't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> cute. <laughs> and there you have Bob the Bimby Park Koala with <laughs> the Miso. Looking, trying, to look, trying to look all cute and cuddly. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll say that bit for later. <laughs> yeah, here's another angle of those, uh, the on-site bands you can hire out too. Got the paintings on the side of them. They uh, look a bit, you know, like I said, a bit quirky I suppose. But yeah, all sorts of accommodation here. Look, I've uh, got the little huts just here. Over there. Uh, you got power sites here as well, so if you don't need uh, you want power, we... you got that as well. Anyway, I'm just about empty. Alright, that's it. Might head back to camp and uh, get that fly cranked. Yep. Well, I used to carry the, uh, the old still mini boss, farm mini boss around our firewood and that last time and now I got rid of that sold that and I bought the uh, Makita cordless so we had got a couple of, I got the drill little blower back thing so I already, I already had the batteries so we got the little uh, Makita saw now holding a 36 volt so uh, when you're in a campground like this like we are at the moment you haven't got a well screaming chainsaw petrol chainsaw make a lot of noise so that's one good thing about it. one advantage is uh, was that and also you don't have to carry spare fuel or separate fuel for it so just batteries and we can charge the batteries off the car obviously with the inverters and stuff like that with, with our power systems nowadays so no issue and um, you can cut a fair bit of wood before they, before they go flat but we only wanted just to cut camp wood for a campfire so we don't, don't need to cut a trailer load but I've probably got no doubt it probably would but anyway good little addition to the uh, kit the electric chainsaw so um, Keep it nice and quiet and keep the neighbours happy, eh? <laughs> right, we're having a fire tonight. I'll just show you what's on the menu tonight. One of my, another one of my favourites. That's up, it's up there with the uh, steak, eggs and chips, pizza, beer and pizza. There we go. Look at that. Check it. Check it out. That's uh, the meat lovers, and it's got uh, I've got some uh, venison chorizo in there. So that's going to taste pretty good, I reckon. I'll just show you how I'm cooking it. There you go. Check that out. That that there is a tile I got from the tile shop. It's surrounded by 300 mil tile. I'll just cut the corners off it. Spray a bit of oil on it, and it works a treat. Hey, okay. get that sucker on there. Whoop. Just like so. Oh, oh, oh. 
get the lid closed. Can't sit by the fire while it's cooking. A couple of these and uh, and we'll be good to go. All right, enjoy your dinner tonight, fellas. Or folks, girls, boys, whatever. Whoever's watching. All right, two beers later. Oh, check it, hey. Turn that off for a sec. Check that out. Meat lovers pizza. Whoa. I tell ya. I'm looking forward to getting into that. Right oh. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna eat. Hey, check out the view. We're just uh, heading from camp into a pile of bay. Just a little, little look out on the way down. Yeah, that's a pile of bay down the distance there. That's where we're heading for today. Probably to a bakery, no doubt. And uh, yeah, just we'll have a quick look while we're on the way down there. Yeah, not bad scenery. This is green, isn't it? All right, let's go get a pie. Oh, we're at a pile of bay at the moment, and uh, that's about I don't know, 200 k's west of uh, Melbourne on the Great Ocean Road here on the coast. And uh, yeah, been to the bakehouse already, got the cakes, got the pies again. So, yep, looking after the figure. Anyway, uh, brings back a few memories this joint because um, this used to be our go to place for the family holidays back when I was about 10 years old and lived in Melbourne. Christmas and Easter and all that sort of stuff. He used to come here. And uh, I remember coming out the jetty here where I am at the minute. Me and a mate from the caravan park or the camp, campground, wherever it was we used to camp at and um, in the old canvas tents back then and go fishing off here. I don't know how well, I don't think we've done too well. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, no, a few fond memories from back then and um, yeah, there you go. So it doesn't look like it's changed too much. A few more shops in town there, but. You know, still, still good to come and relive a few of the old childhood memories, I guess. <laughs> there you go. All right, I think it's just about time for a beer shortly, I think. Getting thirsty. I'm trading it up from the old milkshakes to beer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, what do you see a lot up down along the Great Ocean Road, dear? Lighthouses. lighthouses. <laughs> so we're at another one. Uh -huh. But this is, this, is, one. this is a significant lighthouse. This is the Cape Otway Lighthouse. And the reason they have light, uh, lighthouses, lighthouses <laughs> is because of... Hey, you don't want... You don't want uh, shipwrecks. So, um, all right, we just paid a little, little entrance fee, $19.90 to get in. So we're going to go a bit of a wander over here and check it out. You right, you right there? Yeah. All right, let's wander up here. Oh no, that's the uh, telegraph station. I'm just reading this off a bit of paper. <laughs> See, got all the information here. Uh, what to say about it? In 1859, the telegraph station was built to, ha to house Australia's first submarine telegraph cable. There you have it. That's where that all started. Oh, the old echidna. A bit, a bit shy. Oh, that's where the old uh, lighthouse keeper used to live. Make sure you turn the light on at night and change the globes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There it is. The old Cape Otway lighthouse. So, uh, you can go inside. Just can go up, so up top and have a look inside. Check that out. All right, here we go. Up the lighthouse. All 78 steps. Whoa! 
Hey, what do you reckon of that? Good puff, are you? <laughs> hey, check it out. As you can imagine, it's pretty windy up here. <laughs> Enough to blow the whiskers off your face almost. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Oh, we'll spin it around and give you a look. They're going out there, right? I don't like the height. <laughs> Just look over the edge no, of it. No, no. No? Oh. You're not going to jump out of an airplane then, are No. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to be sick. Oh, no, I'm saying make sure I'm up wind. <laughs> oh, wander around and have a bit of a look, eh? <laughs> I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to know It's an old World War II radar bunker. So uh, let's have a look inside. Well, there you have it. Back in the war days. Off you go. Okay, what are we doing, Dal? Sitting in the car waiting we're, for the rain to stop. Friggin' over it, I tell you. We're trying to pack up, hook up. Every time you go to do something, it just starts raining. As soon as you get out, outside, it starts yeah. raining. What is it? <laughs> I don't know, but we're, we're drowned rats. So here we are sitting in the car, ready to hook up and. Yeah, finish hooking up and we can't, keep going. <laughs> yeah, we can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. It's bloody beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really happy. Mm. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I just don't know what to do if you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alrighty, that's the uh, Great Ocean Road done. Done and dusted. Done and dusted, yeah. So, uh, yeah, i got to say, um, it's well worth it. It's a bloody beautiful bit of coastline. Um, pretty pretty windy road in a, in a few spots, but. Um, the scenery is yeah, just magnificent. Pretty good, eh? Beautiful. So, uh, what was your favourite spot there, Dunn? Or what do you have a favourite? Um, down around the Twelve Apostles. It's yeah. not 12 apostles anymore, but um, yeah. they still call it that. Yeah, it's had a few good lookouts here, like um, London Bridge and yeah. uh, uh, the Arch and the 12 apostles themselves. So, I... I reckon mine was uh, my favourite, I reckon, <laughs> was the custard tail I got from the, uh, the Paula Bay Bakehouse. Oh, that was that. That was just next sake, level. That was next really? level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, Out of everything we've seen, you've got to <laughs> talk. But, you know, the, when the weather guys weren't weren't with us again so we only we can only get in and out like or get out to places briefly when the sun come out so we got to have a bit of a look around which is great but it would have been so much better if the weather was better because you just yeah. see the beaches will look just great and it would have been good to go a bit of a swim and a bit of a fish all that sort of stuff but uh, there's it's not a real lot of um, places to stay that are cheap or free with the camping or that sort of stuff so there, there's a all of mostly caravan parks and stuff like that. They're quite expensive too, Especially aren't they? around lawn. Oh, I lawn, really? Lawn. Um, 
would have really have liked to have stayed the night just to really have a good look around because it, it is a beautiful little town. Yeah, long, yeah, look um, around. But when yeah. we looked it up, um, and, oh yeah, it's full of schoolies. Oh, so schoolies. there's a lot of 17, 18 year olds, whatever they are, 18s. Um, the town is swarming with them. Yeah, so we wouldn't have been able to get in any anyway. Um, anyway, I reckon uh, it, it's, it's well worth it. It's a good drive. It's, it's a lot of good scenery. But it would have been best going from east to west yeah, on the Great I Eastern, reckon, uh, Great way, Ocean Road. Because that way to put your um, the ocean on the drivers or the uh, your side of the road, because uh, a lot of little lookouts to stop at are on that side, so it makes it a bit hard to pull from one side of the road to the other, going the other way. So we went west to east, but I reckon east to west would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, anyway, that's, All right, that's, that's it that's... done. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, until next time. See ya. See ya. I'll try my best to always be there.